that you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity lasts once in a lifetime. Famous Jameis Winston. I am now a fan, and it's not even because of how he plays, though he did play well yesterday. Is there many guys more just likable when they're just walking around and smiling? I saw a video of him, and it was titled something like, James, the word aura was made for Jameis Winston. He's just greeting people that are running security or the, the lady that's at check-in. He said, I can't wait to see more of you. And he just got this smile, man. He just, man, it seems like the presence of the Lord is on the young buck. And I love it. Um, but the stuff that he says is so awesome and such a blessing for everybody, no matter what he says, even some of the goofy stuff. Represent the names on your back. Represents the names that's on your hill. Well, we don't got no decap. So <laughs> represent the bounds, all right? I think there's certain things that Jameis Winston plans in advance to say, and some of those are awesome and some are kind of goofy, but for example, unwavering faith um, and something about belief. Um, How do you describe this victory? Unwavering faith, ultimate belief, de depending on the Lord. He repeated that a few times, but then he goes into this stream of consciousness mode, and it is, <laughs> it's so awesome because we get to literally hear in real time what his brain is doing and exactly what it's thinking without him editing it before it comes out of his mouth. It's a blessing to everybody because it's wildly entertaining. I think a big part of why he played well is because he's kind of got that mindset. He seems like a pretty positive guy. He always has a lot of energy. A lot of things went well, sure, but part of that was his play. There were, you know, three passes that questionably maybe could have been picked off. Um, the, the Ravens haven't been great at closing those kinds of plays. But he did throw for three touchdowns. He did throw for 334 yards. Deshaun Watson, we probably all heard the stat by now. He hasn't had a single 300-yard game in his entire career there. Jameis first start as a Brown, and he comes out and does that. It's so much bigger, though, than how he played. I think the best thing that Jameis Winston brings to that team is his leadership, his faith, his energy. That guy, and I, this is my favorite thing about him, his energy has always been the same. When he was a starter and when he was demoted as a backup and has been a backup, there's somehow he's still always stayed in the limelight. Not that he's trying to, he is consistently still that guy talking to people like he is the starter and firing up his team and being there and, and celebrating and you know fist bumping. And, um, and I think that is really powerful and really strong on a lot of levels. Um, it, it's a strong mindset in a lot of ways. <sighs> he, he doesn't change his demeanor, whether his status is way up here or whether it's way down here. And that's really important because he's not playing the status game, which is super LA and gross, one. Two, he doesn't change his view of himself based on what everybody else says about his status. So he remains strong and confident and powerful so that in moments like this, when he gets his opportunity, he's not surprised by it. He's been preparing for it and believes he's going to go out and make the kind of impact that he made on the field. This is everything in sports. It's everything. And again, James, is, he's a little goofy sometimes. He says things. That's to be expected with everybody, but especially with somebody, somebody that is going to talk more. And I love that he's never turned down, even in some of those cringy moments that he's had or eating the dub or things that he says or a little goofy or off or whatever, because he hasn't changed himself and, and hidden in a shroud of shame or I'm going to hide my personality and who I truly am. It's expected that somebody that speaks more is also going to speak more uh, errors or you know, f you know, stutter more or make more flubs or say some goofy things because they speak more overall. There's more volume. But I just love that he keeps the same energy no matter what. Um, they, again, it's, it speaks to a stronger mindset than I think a lot of people attribute to Jameis Winston. Also, there's a piece to, you know, riding the wave of what everybody says about you, whether you are the starter, you're the backup, you know, people say you're a good quarterback or a bad one. And he doesn't, again, he never shifted his demeanor. And there was a clip, and I'll, I'll try to include that in here, where he says, I know I'm a great starting quarterback if I just play one play at a time. He called that way before this game happened. When I am 
making great decisions one play at a time, I am a great NFL quarterback. I am certain of that. The guys that do go up and down based on their success, what people say about them, you know they're going to have a really hard time after football because you know that it's really seeped into their identity uh, and value as a human being. And it's going to no matter what for any player, probably including Jameis as well. I can't speak for him, but you've never had a job. If you're basically, if you're in the NFL, you've always been a football player. You've you played and then you got a scholarship, played in college, all your bills were paid and you go from college, you get drafted, you play in there, you're making good money. You've never had to do anything else or build other skills. So then you're at the top of the world at the highest level there is to play the game. And then a knee injury comes or, you know, three years and out or whatever. And now you're just completely at the bottom of the totem pole because you don't have other skills yet or you haven't you know worked to transition so that you have something to immediately do after the game and if you also really found all of your worth in the game when you're you know that's way up here you're gonna feel lower than low when you do have to transition out of it again i just love his ability to believe in himself over circumstances because that's the only reason we have comeback stories is guys that believe in themselves so much that even when the world is crashing in around them, they're gonna to continue to prepare and harden themselves and be ready when an opportunity is presented and they're not gonna be surprised when they go out and do something that is a triumphant comeback story. I'm rooting for Jameis. Uh, uh, God bless him. Um, keep being you, big dog.